I'll run me back <clears throat> another quick lesson. Uh, well, this one right here probably be a little lengthy. I got a lot of scriptures I want to get to. Uh, this basically is going into uh, um, a lesson we did pretty much on the way to camp um, yesterday. This is a response we did, uh, but I want to get a little more in depth into it. Because um, I had a question that was asked to me about <clears throat> um, smoking marijuana, man. And um, I, 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 I believe the guy was pretty sincere. Um, I think he was been following uh, Rastafarian um, teachers. And I, I, I believe that he thought that um, smoking weed was part of, uh, of the Bible, in other words. Um, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabra Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. A great millstone taught me this truth. Shalom to you, Akim and Akwaf, that believe and have faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in these last days. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, I, I believe he believed that um, smoking weed was part of um, being a, a Hebrew Israelite. Um, Rastafarianism, that's a religion. Being a Hebrew Israelite is a nationality. That's what our true biblical nationality is. Um, uh, not saying that um, the um, Israelites in the, in the ancient world did not smoke, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they have pretty, uh, pretty much smoked in the ancient world. Um, also, they said that the Native Americans, which was uh, the northern tribes, uh, smoked um, um, in, in the time of uh, Christopher Columbus, I, I put it like that, but it went in the time of Christopher Columbus, but basically before Christopher Columbus came to Americas, to the Americas. Um, but um, I just want to get into it, um, I'm play a couple of videos, and then we get some scriptures, just going into um, the benefits of um, knowing this truth and knowing not to uh, adapt to the world. And this truth is, Knowing who you are, knowing what this is about, and knowing who our power is. Here we go. Hey, Dr. Farla, can smoking marijuana cause harm to the brain? So that's a great question. And according to the CDC, if you're smoking marijuana in heavy amounts or regularly under the age of 18, it has been known to cause problems with brain development, and specifically in areas of memory, learning, um, and decision-making processes. So um, studies show that people who are smoking marijuana, for example, in middle and high school, do tend to get poorer grades and have difficulty with learning. Um, it's also important to know that when you're smoking marijuana in heavy amounts um, and or regularly, if you have a predisposition to mental health issues, that means maybe there's genetics um, for mental health problems, there is a greater likelihood that smoking heavy amounts of marijuana can trigger those mental health issues and in some cases even lead to things like schizophrenia or other psychotic disorders. Yeah, and the, the human nature tells you that smoking anything is, is bad for your health um, because you, you, you're damaging your lungs. I mean, you got to breathe through your lungs, man. You create fluid in your lungs when you smoke. Here's another video I want to get. It's basically going into kind of like where the tradition of smoking weed. And that's why the reason why, this is the reason why they push uh, smoking marijuana into our, um, into uh, pop culture to get the so-called Negroes, Hispanic, and Native Americans to adapt to smoking marijuana, man. That's why they use Snoop Dogg, um, Wiz Khalifa, and all these, these uh, superstars to make you, uh, um, to uh, accept it more. And that's uh, now all these go back to deities and witchcraft that they put on our people to make them think that you know when you smoke marijuana your mind is distorted, man. You, you can't really think clearly, man. And uh, the herbs the Lord used, and a lot of people say the herb the Lord used left the herbs. It was not for us to smoke, man. It was for, for us to eat, and not in a way to eat to get high. It was to eat to um to have our our, our health uh, benefits. So I mean, just like mushrooms, people use mushrooms. They they eat them as a um, as a food in, in replace of meat, but they also eat mushrooms um, to um, to stimulate a high. You know what I'm saying? It's just because they got mushrooms don't mean you eat them to get high. Just because like marijuana, you can eat marijuana, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to eat it to get high. In other words, but like I said, this is it's just a form of witchcraft they use to make our people think. Well, you need this. You need this to uh, benefit you, man. I'm gonna play this video and get into it. Uh, marijuana has actually uh, been used in spiritual religious traditions throughout the ages. Um, 
and he's actually mentioned in numerous uh, sacred texts of world religion. Um, for example, just like uh, you hear about Catholics using wine uh, to uh, commemorate the, the blood of Christ in communion, there are religions in the world that use cannabis drinks to commemorate the birthdays of their gods. Uh, for example, in Hinduism, uh, certain sects of Hinduism called uh, who worship Shiva, one of the uh, gods, um, on, on Shiva's birthday, they drink a cannabis, a cannabis drink. Um, and I remember, yeah, actually, in some of these religions, they consider the plant itself uh, as, a, as a holy uh, object. So that's one example of a religion, that, a long, old religion that's integrated marijuana into its traditions that goes back in the books of Hinduism uh, thousands of years. Other religions that people are familiar with, which are off, like an offshoot of uh, Hinduism, help to um, kind of uh, see is called Rastafarianism. It's kind of a syncretism between Christianity, um, indigenous religions, um, and, and Hinduism was formed in you know, Jamaica and after New York back in the early part of the 20th century. And in Rastafarianism, they also consider cannabis to be a sacred um, substance, and they would believe that it helps them to meditate and enter higher levels of consciousness. Um, really, this, this uh, phenomenon is found in um, numerous religious traditions. You'll see it in some Middle Eastern, even in Zoroastrianism, which is a religion that comes from, uh, from Iran. There's some discussions there. And some people have written books saying that the, the Bible actually has references to the use of, of marijuana. And certainly uh, Hebrew uh, or is archaeologists in, in, um, in working in the Israel and Palestine area have found relics that show that marijuana was was utilized in those places uh, back into the you know thousands of years ago, so uh, certainly um, marijuana has made its way around in, in spiritual traditions and will probably continue to play a role in spirituality. And it probably the origins of um, uh, our bans on marijuana are related to uh, the religious holy wars that were fought against peoples who didn't uh, who used what they were considered to be demon drugs. So, for example, when the Spaniards came to the New World, they saw the Native Americans uh, or the Natives using these different types of, of substances, and uh, they considered it uh, really a witch for witchcraft and, and, um, and did very severe things to them. So uh, there is a religious component to not only the use of marijuana, but to the ban of this as well. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring it out, man, just to give you kind of a brief history of... Um, <clears throat> of marijuana through religions uh just because they use marijuana doesn't make it right <laughs> and a lot of times um throughout the scriptures our people was severely punished by Yahweh by shimei al shafa for follow, not following the law statute commandments and following other gods man so when you basically when you smoke weed you're going after another god man this is genesis uh one and i'm just gonna drop down to verse 29 <clears throat> it says and the most high power said behold I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in, in thee, which is, which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you shall be for meat. And uh, another thing too, man, um, the marijuana that they use in, in the ancient world is not the marijuana they use now. The, the, the marijuana used now is, is a bunch of uh, chemicals, man. And I want to basically make sure I bring a, uh, bring across to you that the, the Lord bless us with herbs for the body to, for healing. There's different um, different uh, benefits for marijuana to be used for, but not to benefit us for altering our mind, man. Just like I was saying about mushrooms, man. Even animals. They even got a. Um, I know uh, Mike Tyson came out saying you can lick a toad. And get a, a high as well. So we're not to get high to alter our mindset, man. That ain't what the Lord blessed us with these, um, the benefits of um, of herbs for. It's for the nourishment of our bodies to keep us uh, from being sick. Um, and we're going to get this scripture about it being a pharmacia. Also, um, the seeds, the, the uh, marijuana that you get now don't produce seeds. They don't, the marijuana, does, it doesn't produce see any seeds, man. All of it's basically chemicals, man, GMO chemicals that you're smoking into your lungs to give you a um, a high that um, is, is, is not benefiting your body, man. It's not benefiting to your spirit. 
um, verse 30 says, and every beast of the other, let me first start at verse 29 again, it says, and Yahweh Bashem Yahushua said, behold, I have given you every, every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you. It shall be for meat and to every beast of the earth and it and into every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat. See, it was given to you for meat to eat. Like I said, some people like may make a uh, different, um, uh, what you call edibles and shit. You know what I'm saying? This is not, not saying we're supposed to get, well, if you can't smoke it to get high, just eat it to get high. I'm not saying that. This is what the Lord is saying. I'm saying that your Lord said you can eat it. I have given you every green herb for meat. And it, it was so. So the Lord blessed us with all the herbs to eat. You know what I'm saying? So so you can't say, well, well you can eat it. If you can eat it to get high. That shouldn't be on your mind to get high. You're supposed to be serving your by Shem Yahweh if you're in the truth. That should be the last thing on your mind, man, to worry about if you can get you can uh, eat it to get high. This is um, Genesis 2, and I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, these are the generations of the heavens uh, and of the earth when they were created in the day that Yahweh Bashem Yahshah power made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth. And every herb of the field before it grew. For Yahweh Bashem Yahshah power had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And there was not a man to till the ground. So basically the Lord put everything, everything was in the earth, man. It all, I mean, you can say marijuana, mushrooms, all the different mushrooms. Everything was blessed by the Lord on the earth. But like I said, keep iterating, man, it was for meat for us to eat, to keep our bodies healthy. Um, But there went up, it, up a mist from the earth and the water, and shalaki, and watered the whole face of the ground. And Yahweh Bashem Yahshua Power formed every man of the dust of the ground and breathed into it and breathed into his nostrils the life, the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So basically, it's going into the Lord blessed everything on the earth, man. And everything came, uh, the man, and man became a living soul, but he blessed the herbs into the ground for the nourishment of our body. Like he said, you come from the ground, you're going to go back into the ground, man. So basically, we are basically just iterating that we are of the ground, and the Lord blessed us with these uh, benefits for the from from the earth to uh, continue to uh, bless us on the earth. This is Genesis. Drop down to verse fifteen. Genesis two and verse fifteen. It says, "And you how about Shemiah shall power?" No, I didn't want to get that. That ain't that ain't going into. It's like I'll read it. It says, "And you how about Shemiah shall power took the man and put him." In the garden of Edom to dress it and to keep it. So the Lord blessed Adam to, you know, in the garden to, to bless it and keep it. And Yahweh Bashem Yahshah power commanded the man, saying, Of every tree in, in garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest, thereof thou shalt surely die. And that's going into uh, the different philosophies and doctrines that um, that was on the earth <coughs> at that time. But it's not talking about the herbs the Lord bless us with. And a lot of people try to pull the scripture saying, that you, try to pull the scripture. Salakia, Salakia. This is um First Corinthians ten. And I'm gonna start at verse thirty one, man. Just get the point of verse thirty one. And I'm gonna try to kind of rapid fire these scriptures, man, just to get all of them in there. It says, Wherefore it says, Where therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do it all to the glory of the most high power. So we'll be doing Everything we should be doing for the glory of Most High Power. 
if you're coming into this truth, you shouldn't be worrying about if I if I can smoke weed or not. You know what I'm saying? You, you're supposed to have your your mind set on getting out of this this system, man. Getting out of getting out of judgment, man. Of your how about Shimmy Alshai? You shouldn't be worried about if I if I can smoke weed if if that's gonna be good for my body. If the Lord gonna bless me if I smoke. No, man, that should be the last thing you should be thinking about, man. Because great judgment coming up on two thirds of our people, man. And you're gonna be considered a two thirds in the eyes of how about Shimmy Alshai if you are. You know what I'm saying? If you want, if you smoking weed, man, man, we gonna get the scriptures, man. Uh, we are gonna get the scriptures because these things you can't. I, I, I'm not making up. This is all the Lord's will, man. And He put men to teach us these things. It's like my, my the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down taught me these things. I want to continue to um, teach these things to people that believe and have faith in Yahweh by Shimei Alshai just as well as I do. This is uh, Colossians three, and I'm just gonna get the point in verse seventeen. It says. And whatsoever ye do in the word or deed, do all in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua power. Give thanks to the Most High Power and the Father by Him. So you, you, you do everything for the Lord, man. You shouldn't be nothing in your will that you want to do, man. All you know, ultimately, the, the will of Yahweh by Shem is what we to, is what is what we should be doing. But nothing we should be like, oh man, I want to I want to do this. I want to try this, man. We should be focused on Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. Everything we do in the flesh needs to be for the Lord, man, because he's the ultimate judge. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 6, and I'm going to start at verse uh, verse uh, 11. It says, and, and so much, su and such were some of you, but ye were washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua power, and by the spirit of the Most High, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that goes clearly into us, man. We are washed by the Lord. We are sanctified by the Lord in his name, man. We call on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, which is holy, man. Everybody's not going to be able to call on the Lord, man, in a day of judgment. So you want to be firm in this truth, man. You want to be able to uh, escape the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. And I should have started up a little bit, but I don't want to make the lesson too, too long. It says, all things are lawful unto me. But all things are not expedient. So you you think we're all, all everything is is is, is um, able to be done, um, you know what I'm saying? Because you feel like well, it ain't got a law right written. Just don't smoke. It ain't gonna tell you. The Lord ain't gonna come out. And, it, it, the scriptures ain't gonna say don't smoke marijuana. Don't eat mushrooms to get high. They ain't gonna say that, man. So you got to be mindful of of, of the Lord and, and, and the way He is bringing out this this uh, this information, man. You can't be uh, trying to overthink the Lord or, or, or think you getting under because it don't have a law written saying don't smoke weed, don't eat mushrooms, don't uh, lick toes, like Mike Tyson said, don't lick toes to get high. It's not going to say that, man. Verse 12 again says, all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. So you don't want to be brought under the power of any. Anything, man, because a lot of these things, a lot of these things in the ancient world, they was burning incense to Baal, man. And these incense, they would, you know, I, I can't say exactly they was burning incense, uh, like smoking, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, man. That's a form of burning incense, man, of, of smoking, man, because you, you incense, the only thing you're doing is taking the incense, just burning the smoke. The smoke goes up to the how about Shimei It says, meat for the belly and the belly for meat. But power shall destroy them, shlock it, but power shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. See, our bodies are not for, for fornication, man. Worshiping other gods, man. And, and smoking and doing these things that are not lawful to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is going after another god, man. You you you're you're basically lining yourself up with the world. It says, and power hath both raised up Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, and will also raise up us by his own power. Know ye not that our bodies are the members of the most uh, of, of Hamashiach? See, our bodies are holy unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, man. We can't, we can't do it. Once you come into this truth and you know you uh, you know the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, your whole mindset should change. Doing wickedness shouldn't be in your mind at all, man. That's the last thing you want to do, man. Because the judgment of Yahweh by Shimei is coming, man. It is coming. It says, 
um, shall I then take the member, take the members of Hamashiach and make them the members of an harlot? So that's like going in church, man. You going in church, well, I can smoke weed today, man. The only thing I got to do, the pastor told me, the only thing I got to do is tell the Lord, I forgive me and he'll forgive me. This ain't that, man. This Being a Hebrew Israelite is not Christianity. If you if you want to uh, worship Yahweh by Shem Shah, you have to put your whole trust in the Lord, man. That's that's one of the Ten Commandments, man. It, it's not you. You can't be um, on on the fence. In other words, you can't. Well, I'm gonna do it today and then tomorrow. No, man. This is a one. This is a one. This is a one way road, man. And you can't turn around. <laughs> if you turn around, it's, it's ultimately death, man. The uh, nuclear missile food, man. It's ultimately death. It says. Um, 15 again, it says, know ye not that your bodies are the, the members of the, of, of Hamashiach. Shall I then take the members of Hamashiach and make them the members of an harlot? So you're going to change, you're going to change what the Lord bless you with, man, to get this wisdom, not his understanding and turn into a harlot. It says power for He said, no, man, you don't do that. You stay on this. You stay on a straight and narrow path, man, because the Lord chose chose you to get this truth, man. And everybody else ain't gonna be able to get it, man. It says, "What know ye not that that he which is joined to an harlot is one body?" So if you join to a harlot, you, you you that's you. Like I said, that, that, that um, you know what I'm saying that uh straight that straight and narrow gate, man. That that straight and narrow path to Yahweh by Shimei Shah. So if you join to you, you join into a harlot, man. You you're not joined to Yahweh by Shimei Shah because Yahweh by Shimei Shah is one body. If you join to the world, you join to an harlot, man. It says, um, it says what? Now ye not? He said, know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. That's when you get married. You know, you, you come one flesh, man. So when you do, man, this is another tie. I ain't gonna need to touch on that, man. But that's a little deeper. But uh, he says, but he that is joined unto Yahweh by Shimei Shah is one spirit, man. And that's why they call liquor, uh, alcohol, spirits, man, because it also puts spirits on you, man. So the Lord bless with things to uh, have a good time, I would say. And um, but you have a limit, man. You have a, a, the Lord put you a cap on on fun, in other words. So you you can drink so much before you actually drunk. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, being pissy drunk where you can't walk them. You know what I'm saying? You've seen people drunk. You know what I'm saying? He gave us a limit, man, like food, man. He gave you a limit before you're gluttonous. You, you know when your your limit is, man. So, you know what I'm saying? You, you have to be mindful of your how about Shimei Al Shai um, being, being one spirit with the Lord, man. So it's, it's things you can do, but you can't do um, overdo it, in other words, man. So you how about Shimei Al Shai is not going to um, let you get away with, uh, well, I'm going to smoke a little bit and then I'm, I'm going to get this high. No, man. You have to give it up, man. You got to give it up for the Lord, man. And it's, 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 it's a great thing to give up these things for you. How about Shimei Al Shai? It says, flee fornication. Every sin that man doeth is without the body, but he that commi uh, committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. See that? It says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. See, our bodies are the, the temples of the Holy Spirit, man. So you telling me you want to smoke to uh, and, and not get the Holy Spirit, the Lord basically put the Spirit on you to know right from wrong? It says, uh, what? No. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you? which ye have of power and ye are not your own. So the Lord telling you, man, you are not your own, man. So you got to, you, your mindset got to change, man. Because ultimately you going back into the world, man, you're going to, you're going to be judged with the world. Because the Lord, I mean, we go to this scripture about the Lord is not friends with the world, man. It says, for ye are brought with a price. So the Lord bought us with a price, man. The hopeful elect, not two thirds of our people. The hopeful elect was bought with a price. And ultimately, if you, you're smoking and continue to smoke, man, you, you're a two-third, man. It says, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify your how about Shimei Shah in your body. So we, our, sp our spirits is a living, we are, we are a living, a holy instrument for your how about Shimei Shah. It says, therefore, glorify the most high power in your body and in your spirit, which is, which are powers. 
So we worship in the Lord in our spirit and in our body, man, which is the Lord's, man. So we basically giving ourselves back to you, how about Shemiah Shah, being a living sacrifice for the Lord, man. You know, so I can't speak for everyone, but I pray that I'm doing the right thing in the name and power of Yahweh by Shem Shah. Because we're not going to get a second chance, man, to get, get it right. And time is coming where the, the mercy, the mercy doors are, are closing, man. The Lord ain't going to have mercy on you. If you, if you're, if you don't want to believe what the, you know, the prophets and the teachers and the apostles, the elders of uh, Great Millstone on down uh, are, are preaching to you, and you don't want to believe in that, and you just want to do your own thing, well, it ain't a law saying you can't smoke. Cause I had a I had a Jake today talking about it's not in the law saying you can't smoke, but I, I gave him the scripture that you can't smoke in Galatians. We're, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get that, man. But he didn't want to see it. He said you making up your own doctrine, no, man. Tuh. No, sir, re. This is not of our own. It says uh, this is Romans thirteen and one. It says let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for ev for there is no power but of the most high. So no power is no power but but of the most high power. The powers that are that the powers that be slocking. The powers that be are ordained of the most high power. So the Lord ordained the teachers and the apostles and elders on down to teach you, man, right from wrong. He said, Who uh, whosoever resist therefore resisteth the power Resisted the ordinance of the most high power. So you, you, you're resisting. If you don't want to believe that we're telling you what we're telling you, that you can't get high, you can't alter your mindset, then you, you, you're resisting what was ordained by the most high power. He says, whoso therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of the most high power. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So you're going to receive to yourself damnation if you don't want to believe that you cannot smoke, man. And you don't want to continue to smoke. Go ahead, man. Be be Charleston White, man. Be Charleston White. He loved to smoke and talk shit and, and talk shit about people. Be like him, man. I guarantee his missile is he gonna be great. He gonna be a great fuel for the fire, man. In verse um verse three it says, "For rulers are not a terror of good works." So the rulers that are above you in the spirit are not rulers of um, of good uh, of terror of good works man so we trying to make bless you to make it as well man just like like i said we was taught i was taught from my apostles and elders on down a great millstone on down to the brother now man you know what i'm saying they taught me and i, I can see it clearly through the scriptures man and i believe and have faith in how about shimmy and that's all it took but if you you want to wrestle with wrestle with the men of the lord and say well this this that that, that man you're going to be Damn, you're gonna be you basically making yourself receive to receive damnation, man. For for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. So if you're doing what we're doing, we doing if you're doing and following what we're teaching you, then you're gonna have praise of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah. Lord willing, the same way we have it, man. For he is a he, but for he is the minister of the Most High Power, to thee for good. So we're the we are we are ministers of the Lord to good to you, man. Man, that's crazy, man. He says, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. So if you if we told you and ministering to you what what is good and what is evil. And you doing evil, you say, well, you brush us off and you continue to do evil. He said, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of the most high power and revengeth and executed wrath upon him that doeth evil. So it's going into Esau Edom, man. The Lord bless Esau Edom to punish us, man, for doing wicked, man. So that's why you see all these brothers that get blown away and different things like that, different judgments they've come. But... We ministering you to to, to um, escape the judgment of Esau Edom. You how about Shimei Al Shai ultimately, but he's going to use Esau Edom to bring these judges on you. We're blessing you with this word, this knowledge and understanding for you to escape the judgment, man. And that's all it's about, man. We 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 ain't, we ain't trying to get no vain glory, trying to uh, chastise you just because we don't want you to have a good time and get high, man. That's crazy, man. We trying to make sure you blessed to make it this as well as we are, man. This is First Peter's. Uh, two, and I'm dropping down to verse 13. It says, Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for Yahweh Shimei Shah's sake, 
whether it be to the king as, as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that doeth well. It says, for so is the will of the most high power that with well doing ye may be ye may put in silence the ignorance of foolish man. And that's what we're doing, man. We're putting the ignorance of foolish man away, man. Because we don't want you to, you might dis discourage another brother that's, you know what I'm saying, trying to get off of uh, smoking. And you might make him think, well, okay, it's, it's okay, man. It's, it's no scripture saying you cannot smoke. No, man. You, 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 we we got to stomp out all your ignorance, man. Because you, you, you might be the little brother to damnation when he was truly trying to get, uh, get right with the Lord, man. So we're gonna we're gonna stomp on you, stomp on anything you say that goes against your how about Shemuel Shah because we know for a fact, man, smoking marijuana is is wicked, man. This is Romans, uh, Romans. Romans twelve. I got the little. I'm gonna get down to the point, and I'm gonna start at verse one. It says. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High Power, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we got to present our, our bodies as a living sacrifice unto you, how about Shemuel Al Shah, not to ourselves, man. You're giving your, you want to give your flesh more, more um, um, praise and honor than the Most High, because you, you're not live, you're not making yourself a living sacrifice uh, for the Lord. You, you're not want, you, you know what I'm saying? These brothers that smoke and don't want to be holy. So you, and then I had a Jake tell me that uh you making it a doctrine no man so so I, and I asked him I said so you believe that the Most High gonna come by out here and uh and all the wickedness and stuff that's going on and he got a, a a group of brothers just getting high smoking weed talking about yeah man your house shot coming for everybody man what's the point of um being a two third then man and he was he was a two third then he go you you, you trying to take up for somebody that's smoking weed which is wicked. He says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High Power, that ye present yourselves a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High Power, which is your reasonable service. So we're we supposed to present ourselves a living sacrifice, holy to the Lord, man. That's our reasonable service. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. It ain't, you know what I'm saying, you want to make somebody um, feel bad because they can't do this. No, man, this is a cutthroat thing, man. You either smoke weed and die. You either, if that's what, what you, do, you desire to do, that's what you want to give your life for, man, then do it. But we're telling you, you can't do it. And then we're telling you, if you do it, you might be <laughs> in mis You might be in that, yeah, you might get get put in a, a FEMA camp. You don't know what the Lord judgment. The Lord said, it was in Jeremiah 15, 1, it says he got four judgments, man. Four kinds of death. So we trying to warn you not to taste death, man. You know what I'm saying? By the will and power you have by shooting y'all shot. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't what we, we're, we're uh, slated to do. We, we don't know for a fact, but at least if you, you understand and follow the how about shooting y'all shot, you might be exempt from, you're going to be exempt from judgment. Like in uh, Ezekiel 9. This is uh, um, James 4, and I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, Ye asked and received not because ye as in the mist that ye may consume it upon your lust. So you don't you you don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to give you the truth, and you 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 consuming it on your own lust, man. We telling you you can't do it, but you you consuming it on your own lust. Let me go back up to the top. It says James four. I'm gonna start at one. It says from hence from whence cometh wars and and fighting among you. Come ye not hence, even of your lust that the war in your members. So you warn your members trying to, you know what I'm saying? Um, smoke, which we, like I said, we continue to tell you, you can't smoke, man. You say you, you warning your members. It says least lust and have not. It says ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, Yet he have not, because he has not. So you warn your members, not wanting to to, to um be rebuked or, or to uh, understand that this is what the Lord will for us is. 
Because you know what I'm saying? I, I done heard plenty of lessons going into you You can't smoke, man. That's just simple and plain, man. There ain't even a debate about it, man. The human nature even uh, lets you know that you, you shouldn't be smoking. It says, verse 3, it says, Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your own lust. You ask, you don't want, you don't want it, nobody to tell you you can't do it, man. Because you're doing it in, out of your own lust, not uh, out of your how about shim how shy. You're doing it for your own lust, man. This is Galatians 5, and I'm going to get to point in verse 19. It says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. See, the works of the flesh. It says, Adulter, Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, Le levish, uh, lack, um, slack you. Um, tongue twister for me. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness, adultery, witchcraft, hatred. Valent, um, variants, variants, immutilations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envy, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and such th such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you. In time past, that ye which do do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High Power. So if you're doing these things, you're not going to inherit the kingdom of the Most High Power. Now let's get this word. Um, and this is witchcraft. Let me get it so I can make sure you understand that I ain't just coming up with it. This is witchcraft. G. 5331, which goes into Pharmakia. I'm letting him pronounce it. Strong's G, 5331. Pharmakia. Pharmakia. And it goes down to, it's, it's, I don't even got to read no more. It says, the use or the administrating of drugs. So if you alter in any way, you're making it a drug, man. Pharmakia, poisoning, poisoning. So when you smoke it, you're poisoning. Sorcery, magical arts. So people are, man, they use this for all kind of witchcraft and different things, man. Often found in connection with idolatry. Like I said, burning incense to Baal. And fostering, fostered by it. Metaphor, the, de the deceptions and seditions of idolatry. So it goes into sorcery, witchcraft, man. You making a drug, you you making that drug witchcraft, man. Magic. And a lot of things go. I seen a, a video just a while ago, man, where the guy over in the um in the, the small hatter made something go into the smoke. They was burning a uh, burning a um bonfire, man. He made something go into smoke, man. So the smoke is a man, is 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 it's something heavy about smoke, man, is with the witchcraft. They use in heavy witchcraft, man. But you see that that witch this is this witchcraft sorcery is 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 what's what it's used for, man. Pharmakia, drug. To use or to administrating of drugs, pharmakia, man. So we, we know right now in the present time they they call marijuana drugs. I didn't make it up, man. They call it drugs. This is First Corinthian. And I got so many scriptures wrote, and I ain't gonna get to all of them, man, because I'm, I'm beating a dead horse, man. Because I believe the point has been made, but I'm gonna get a couple more just to top it off. So it won't be no way you're around this. This is um uh, First Corinthians three, and I'm gonna start at verse 16. It says, Know ye not that our so I can. 
Know ye not that ye are the temples of the Most High Power, and that the Spirit of the Most High Power dwelleth in you. So the Lord dwelleth in us, man. We got to clean our temples, man, for the Lord to dwell in us, man. If any man defile the temple of the Most High Power, him shall power destroy. So if you destroy your temple, man, the Lord going to destroy you, man. For the temple of the Most High Power is holy, which ye which temple ye are. So we are holy, man, unto Yahweh Bashem Shah. Which temple we are, man. We are the temples of the Most, most High Power, Yahweh Bashem Shah. This is Romans, and I'm just going to kind of continue to just push these scriptures out real quick, man, to, um, to you know, basically, um, I'm just going through my list in the scripture, other scripture I ain't touched on. Let's get this real quick. Ephesians 5. I'm going to make two more and I'll be done. Ephesians 5, and I'm going to get the point in verse 17. It says, Therefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding that the will of the most, what the most, it's like it, what the will of the most high power is. And be not drunken with wine wherein is ex excess, but be filled with the spirit. So we supposed to, we don't supposed to get all, take so much on, man. You get excess of drinking and shit, man. But you, you like you trying to, you know what I'm saying? Excess of in the in the flesh. You trying to please your flesh more than you how about Shimei Al Shai? Uh, let me get one more, man. I'm gonna end it, man. Romans 14. Point right quick at 23. It says, "And he that doubteth is damned if he eat." Because he eateth not of faith. So if you you, you want to come into this truth and you don't believe in, in the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that we shouldn't smoke, you, you damned if you eat, man. In that time we're coming into, man. You you you're damned in yourself, man, because the Lord set up the will that he will have us to do. And you're gonna be damned you eat if you if, when that famine comes, man. You're gonna be man out there, man, because the Lord is not gonna be with you. You're not gonna be covered, in other words, because you didn't believe in the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. So you're not eating this truth with faith, man. You're doing it on your own flesh. For whatsoever is not in of faith is sin. So you're talking about, um, oh, it's not a sin to do it because it's not transgressing the law. I gave you two main scriptures. But if you're not doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Shai, it is a sin, man. We read it now. Let me read it one more time. He says, he that doubteth is damned if he eat. And this goes into a spiritual tone, man, to this, man. Because we, when we go into these, these scriptures, we eating, the, we eating Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because he is the word. He says, because he eateth not by faith. So we eating the scriptures and eating Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by faith. We doing everything we doing is by faith, man. It's not by our own merits, man. Not by our own flesh. We do nothing by the flesh, man. It says... He he um he eateth not of faith. So you eating um the, the scriptures not by faith, man. You don't believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh If you think you can smoke weed and all that shit, man, you don't believe in the Lord, man. He says, for what so for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So whatever's not by faith is sin, man. So you sinning against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh when you don't believe that the word that he gave us through the through uh through the scriptures. Is not his, man. You, you you don't have any faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get one more, man. One more, one more. And that's it. I think I I approved the point, man. But the scripture I missed, if somebody, you know, what I'm saying, poke hole at it. I'm gonna make sure I kind of crack you over the head with every scripture I can possibly get to. Let you know, man, this is this is the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Ezekiel 44, I'm going to just get the point in 23. It says, and they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane. And that's us, man, the men of the Lord. We're teaching the difference between what's holy and what's profane. And cause them to discern between the un unclean and the clean. So we're telling you what's clean and what's unclean, man. Smoking weed is not clean, man. Getting high all to your mindset is not clean.
So I'm going to end it there, man. Lord willing, was edifying, man. Shalom, shalom.